Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some another Dragalia Lost video. <laughs> I'm here to talk about the new uh, Gala Dragalia unit that's coming to the game. Um, should be here at reset, depending on when you watch this video. Yeah, so that's gonna be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me if you're gonna be summoning or not. Again, we do have the anniversary sometime late September is I believe what they told us, but we should know more in... We should know the date we're getting the digest inside of um, the this month in Dragalia coming at the end of this month. But yeah, let's get into them. So yeah, Gala Beast Volk. If you don't know who Volk is, Volk is the dude from Agido. So, I never thought the Agido, Agido dudes were going to be summonable in any way, shape, or form. Because they were just so unbelievably evil at this on point. That's the reason I was like, oh, there's no way they're going to make the super racist guy into a unit. That'd be bad. But, I guess we'll see. But let's start with Volk. The worst thing he hates is, I think, the rich people. So, he obviously is for the people of today. So, awaken Agido and rebel against his world, Gala Beast Volk. The vestigial shade of Beast Volk, formed from a portion of the amplified power conferred to him by his Agido mask, his incoherent mumbling retains the familiar bite of Volk's own rancor. Lunatic Deliverance, this is his skill, grants the user the Blood Moon effect, grants the entire team a strength amp, and activates skill shift. This skill will become Lunatic Desolation and immediately be ready for use. Lunatic Desolation consumes Blood Moon and all stacks of Moonlit Rage, deals damage to surrounding enemies and inflicts stun. This attack deals additional damage on the number of Moonlit Rage uh, stacks consumed. If this skill has become Lunatic Desolation and not yet been used when the user's remaining shapeshift time runs out, it will be used automatically. Special effects, Blood Moon does not stack, Team Amps, uh, yeah, Team Amp. Phase 2 damage, Moonlit Rage 0 is 0 to 3 stacks, 1,098, 4 to 6 stacks, 1,618 over 1 hit, and 7 to 9 stacks, 2,244, and if you get 10 st stacks of Moonlit Rage, 3,600 in 1 hit, and it that's a stun that lasts for 10 seconds. 7 seconds, my bad. Alright. That sounds pretty good, and it sounds exactly like the move um, he uses in the actual fight, so that's cool. Uh, wind, Fangs of the Fangless V. If the user is attuned to wind, increase strength by 100%. When I originally looked at this news and I saw this ability, there's more to this ability, but I'm just going to say this right now. 100% strength to wind? You've got to be out of your goddamn mind. That's insane to me. But to be fair, the Gala banner before Anniversary is always amazing. The last time we had something like this, I want to say the previous Gala banner dragon was... It was Mars? Yeah, that was Mars was the first Gala dragon. They introduced it before Anniversary and they were just like, here you go. That or something. I remember Mars was like during a time where everyone was saving. And they're like, one more Gala banner before the big hit, and it was Mars, and everyone was like, oh no. No, no, so strong. It was before a collab, my bad. That's something different. So it's not surprising for them to do this. That has to mean that whatever's ready for the anniversary is going to be insane. But let's continue on with the skill, huh? Also, regardless of their atonement, grants the user a Dragon Strike while Shapeshift as Beast Volk. This Dragon Strike deals damage to enemies in a line and reduces the defense by 10% for 5 seconds. Wow. The reduction does not stack. While charging this Dragon Strike, the user will be granted a stack of Moonlit Rage effect to get uh, at set intervals. Moonlit Rage can stack up to 10 times. So that's kind of where you want to go with powering this up right here with Lunatic Deliverance. Wind Plague of Weakness 2. If the user is attuned to win, increase the chances of inflicting any affli- What? Increases the chance of inflicting any afflictions by 100%? Are you out of your goddamn mind? The duration of poison and stormlash inflicted on enemies by 30% damage to poison enemies by 15% and damage to stormlash enemies by 
Also, regardless of their attunement, lowers the user's affliction resistance by 150%. That means, okay, but activates the following effect every 3.5 seconds while they have Blood Moon effect. The user is granted a stack of Moonlit Rage effect. Damage is dealt to surrounding enemies and 10% of the damage inflicted is restored as HP to the entire team. This recovery caps at 10% each adventurer's max HP. The effect of uh, Dragon's Fierce Raid ability will not apply to this damage. When the user's shapeshift is undone, they will be inflicted with poison for 12 seconds. Their dragon skills uh, skill shift will be reset, and the Blood Moon effect and all stacks of Moonlit Rage will be lost. Also, regardless of their attunement, lowers the user's. Okay, okay, that's fair. This is okay. The chance of inflicting up by 100% sounds really good, and also the extra damage sounds really good. But also, you're just got you got no resistance bro that's that's 150 percent is a lot to is basically putting you at like negative 50 percent right because most units have 100 percent unless you're an old unit at least that's the way i'm interpreting it that's the way i'm kind of seeing it right now of course they are releasing a whole bunch of um worm prints that kind of deal with um um afflictions and stuff so maybe that will help kind of offset some of the negative side effects of someone like volk you know that's definitely possible uh let me see regarding uh attack while well, shapeshift into gallopy's volk the third attack of a standard combo will do damage to enemies directly ahead and inflict star what this guy seems nuts man um yeah so Here's the part where I tell you how I feel about Volk. I don't know, maybe it's just because of what he sounds like on paper. This guy sounds absolutely nuts. He sounds like the kind of unit you would 100% release if you wanted people to summon before a giant gala banner. Plus, he's a wind dragon. Um, right, he is a wind dragon, right? Yeah, he's a dragon, thank god. I was about to say, if he's been an adventurer this entire time, then what the hell? Um... And Wind is a very good element filled with a lot of dudes uh, that would benefit from a lot of the things he doing. He does. Uh, you can use him as a beat stick, and if you don't want to really use him as a beat stick, then you can use him as someone who can afflict affinities a whole bunch. I think that's a pretty fun way of doing it. There's also negatives to his powerful, so he's not just all powerful in general. Because uh, again, you do kind of have to. It kind of at least. If I'm interpreting this right, it does sound like you kind of have to think a little bit when you want to use them. Like if you're in a place that just is a uh, free city and you use Volk, well you wouldn't want to use uh, Poison City I guess is the right, act, right way of saying it. Like there's obviously some uh, bosses where if they just like non-stop inflict you with something and you get hit by that, it's going to be real unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I feel like his positives vastly outweigh his negatives by a large amount plus he has a dragon strike which is really awesome like a four strike but for dragons uh so that's just cool for them to add every third attack of his inflicts storm flesh <laughs> come on that's that's just unfair so i think i'm gonna be summoning for him i'm not gonna do a video on it uh just because i'm not gonna summon much i'm gonna maybe do a couple tickets and then i'm done um just for a chance, like, I think he would be definitely be worth it to- I'm at like 10,000 right now, not including tickets, so I should have a couple- Like, I'm not gonna actually dip into my warm might, but I'm gonna try and see if up until first SSR unless maybe- No, just 10 tickets. A 10 ticket is enough for me to kind of throw at him and kind of see where I get, and if I get him, then I'll make a video on him. You guys can check it out, but that's what I'm feeling for- But for the most part, I am saving for anniversary full-on whatever they got planned and whatever they got planned afterwards actually i'm going to be very curious what they got planned afterwards they did say they were going to have less adventurers being released but i believe they also said that's going to be happening after december or something i don't know we'll learn more around anniversary when they reveal something like if there's a collab that's the main thing i care about the most the good thing about this even though it's going to be very hard to get a uh a gala dragon not featured he is going to always be on every gala banner uh, except for remixes obviously but yeah that's the end of the video man i did not expect this kind of look so good but 
that's my opinion on it. You feel free to tell me what you're feeling if you're going to be summoning or if you're just full on saving. Based off of the story, it seems like I know who's going to be the main Annie unit. And I think it I think it'd be smart if you want to wait for him cuz it sounds kind of sick what they're going to be doing. So, yeah. Till next time everyone, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.